Good evening everyone. So I would just like to announce that there will be two or three videos this day, October 2nd of 2018. Why? Um, because um, I was about to say that um, I was very shocked. Uh, there was a fangirl on my side on the right and she said that, whoa, you have a camera, right? And um, I was just, uh, what I was trying to go into um, record something. Uh, it's just a trailer. It's about why some of you are broken hearted. That would be the topic for today because tomorrow it's going to be the showing of the Para sa Broken Hearted in most cinemas nationwide directed by Digo Risho and the movie company is Viva Entertainment. So, um, medyo nakaka-excite ako. Um, I'm really very excited and I was, uh, it was a bad news. Johan wasn't able to come and um, just because I, uh, I actually went out. So I just went to, um, uh, you know, the church that MNL48 went there. Um, she mentioned it. Uh, he invited me to go there. And that will be the new um, service there, and which is actually the life giver. So uh, that will be for now. All right, so let's move on with the topic. And it's all about for the broken hearted people or in Tagalog para sa broken hearted based on the best selling author Marcelo Santos the third. Um, I actually met him in person and uh, I wasn't hesitated to ask question. Um, kasi naman, uh, most of them, those two people, the other two, those two other people who have who have asked questions that were really touching and sometimes nakakasira talaga yung puso natin and I just uh, really to say that my question is very honest so you have to watch my video um, you should watch the video that I'll be posting it later in the next 45 minutes so 8.45pm will be the next video then again at 9.30 for the third video so it's all about the broken hearted and and yeah, tomorrow is going to be the showing. So, so it's actually, um, just take a look at the difference of the book cover anyway. So it's actually based from this book, um, though it's actually recycled and add a movie um, version. Um, sadly, um, I actually survive when I go to a mall show alone. Even though I was very hyped to see um, um, Yasi Pressman. That was a. Uh, yan uh, yan yung kalab team ni Kagdo Delisay yung sa uh, Ubinciano. Uh, that was a the show made its third anniversary last September twenty eighth. Uh, that was exact. So watch the previous video of Gumball Central. Um, that was uh, interviewed by Gumball with Kagdo Delisay or Coco Martin in animation. By the way, because I was not able to do that. Kasi busy sa talaga sa pagbaho, to be honest. So the book is actually 195 on both designs, both the movie edition and the original. So I'm really excited to have this book signed. So I'll be um I'll be showing that uh to you. Um actually I already showed that. Just search it on my Facebook, Twitter, and I'll be opening my Instagram for the thanksgiving of being a true photographer even though i have a special reward and it all thanks to you my friends family my supporters here um fans subscribers and um to our lord thank you and uh, it's really um very impressive so I was very uh shocked. Um remember let's let's go on with the story. Um the time that I, I just bought a uh, spare book of Star versus the Forces of Evil, Star and Marco's Guide to Mastering Every Dimension because uh last year since I have the financial problem even though I'm studying I I actually sold this to my friend and 
I bought I bought a spare book. Though I'm a wise I'm a wise spender. Because the bad spender is yung mga bagkada, yung mga wasted something, yung mga bibili ng Alex sa bagkada. A eh, what more will you guys end up when you overdrink some of your liqueur and and wine stuff? Remember, drink responsibly. Kasi at the end, you might end up with the disease in the future. As in, wala na. Finish na. Though the wise spender is, you have to spend wise. Why? Yung wise spender kasi ay ginagastos lang ng tama. For example, ginagastos yung talaga sa pang-araw-araw ng pagkain or yung mga tao nito, yung mga kinakailangan pambayad ng kuryente, paying the electric bills. Um, if we have we have a car that we have uh, we fix our cars, two cars. Um, one is actually going to be repainted, um, our van Vesta N, and the other one is Mercedes Benz. Though it's actually a mechanical failure, I don't know. It's, it's actually gas. It was the second time going back there and it's actually fixed. And I hope that problem is going to be over very soon. So moving on. Um, I, uh, I actually uh, very excited to see um, the artists again. But this time, I saw them in a closer way. Because that mall show last September 23rd of 2018 was actually the same day instead of a movie tour there's going to be a book signing and i was i i i, I was unexpected that um i thought i would just buy a ticket going there i would just i would just buy a ticket uh just to enter but some says that just a book just only a book then you're in kahit papano you can still enter but you can um still go for a book signing even though you don't buy a ticket it's okay. Yan po talaga ang kabaliktaran nito. And kapag bumili ng ticket, mahal, 281. Sa gateway yon. E pag bumili ng libro, 195. Pasok ka pa rin. At makikita nyo pa rin yung mga artista. Book signing pa. Wow, pet malu. Grabe. So I was expecting that when I count, when I count the money in the welcome supermarket, because the time that I went to welcome store just to change um just to change all those coins even though it has a smaller amount even a centavo 5 centavo uh although it, uh they needed for their change because you know that term by you should pay coins in the morning or in tagalog bagya lang sumaga that's actually they used to when they have the coins for the change but actually, I don't have any enough money, so I go back to National Bookstore to refund my sign pen. And she stay and she says that the customer service that she the 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 product that I purchased that must be exchanged and it can't be refunded, so it's a no. But someone could help me that I am waiting for a fan to come and help me just to enter the movie tour. Though I just bought bought a ticket first, then I buy a book. Um. Before I did that, um, I was asking, just uh, just waiting for my six pesos to come. And thank goodness, he answered my six peso payback for the book, just for the sake of book signing. And I was very, very thankful that I can accomplish to enter them also. Though I was the first one to enter, although there was no people coming around, so I entered up with the first seat. So I enter up in the front row. I can sit anywhere in front. Um, those games is actually more on trivia and not on dancing. Though they are all very easy. But the last part is very hard. Kasi I don't know what the theme song is. Akala ko si umuwi ka ng baby yung hanggang kailan ni Orange and Lemons. Eh that's wrong. Kasi meron yung host na natatanong ang huling trivia. Kung ano ang title ng theme song ng para sa broken hearted at sino ang kumatay niya. And the answer is para sa broken hearted by Sam Concepcion. <laughs> that is just wrong mga kaibigan.
Talagang nakakatawa ako. Pag yan, si Sam Concepcion yan. Ako. Alam mo Sam, hamon nila yun. Yan ang hamon namin sa iyo. Si Sam Concepcion, kakanta na awitin natin. O yan, yan. Sinabi ko na yung tama. Ang awitin natin is actually the right answer. Ang actis is Janine Tenyoso. Kasi yung nag, ako nagtaas yung ano yun ng kamay, alam ko yung kanta. Yung mga lyrics ang alam ko. Yung artista, I know. Pero when it comes to the title, just ko Lord, napaka nakalimutan na. Patay tayo, Jack! <laughs> Though I got the wrong answer, no extra poster. Sayang. But don't worry, I... I'm very thankful pa naman. Um, though I... Though... Uh, and, andun pa naman si Marcelo Santos III. Yan yung artwork ng para sa Broken Hearted. Um, uh, kung gusto yung magtanong, uh, pwede nyo itanong. Um, though it was ended uh, kasi start ng mall show. And another thing mga kaibigan. Um, nagtanong ako kay, ano, kay Marcelo Santos III. Um, about po sa ano, sa, yung mga sa mga Broken Hearted. Paano ito ipapakisolve para iwasan yung mga depressing moments? Ang sagot, malalaman nyo sa next video in the next couple of minutes. Pero pagdating sa bandang dulo, after yung mga performance ng mga artista na si Shai Carlos, Marco Gumabaw, uh, yung artista yan, siya ay ipapalabas sa Los Batagdos. Siya po ay makakawin ng panibagong teleserye via Pressure's Hearts Romances. And it, it is based from the story by Vanessa and it will be aired on ABS-CBN and TFC International on October 15, 2018. At si Yasi Pressman. At dahil walang tayong oras sa video na ito, on the next few minutes of this coverage, ipapatuloy ko ang coverage para sa broken-hearted na mga tao. And remember, Two words kung gusto nyo mapanood ng para sa broken hearted. Two words. No spoilers. Kaya magkikita tayo ulit mamaya. In the next uh, probably 30 or 45 minutes. Basta abangan nyo na lang. Until then, we'll see you later.